So despite a few problems at customs, and Michelle was there quite a long time, Canada customs are complete knobs. Uh, he got this here last night. So uh, there's, a, there's a tag on it that says, E code, shifts fine, no chip teeth, T case functions fine. 69 bug eye that's when they started to put the bug eyes with when they first started to put the headlamps in the wings uh, before th series 3 so it's all complete um, but I'm gonna wash it off this morning and we're gonna strip it down <clears throat> because well you'll see shortly so I spent about an hour steam cleaning this off uh, got most of the muck off some muck there's off the strap Ah, yeah. Now, although we're sort of not going to use these casings, um, just want to show you something before I strip it down. You see, this casing here is bored together. They bolt it and then bore it together, and you can see it's got 5E on it. That's just marking. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to mark these two together with our own punches, just to show you that that casing belongs with that. Once we get inside, I'll show you the difference with this uh, housing all right but anyway the we've drained it of oil well I've drained it of oil and uh, it's quite clean and it's coming it's all it's just about all out anyway so I'm going to leave that over lunch to drain out and then we'll uh, get it in the shop and drop it down but you know I don't mind doing gearboxes but wouldn't it be nice if somebody just cleaned it before they sold it? You know, save me a job. And that's why I charge for cleaning. I charge a horrendous amount for cleaning. Oh, just talking about cleaning. <clears throat> this is the stuff I use this time. Fume free, easy off. It is rubbish. Honestly, save you money. But the shop had run out of my regular stuff, the yellow can. So that's not as strong. It's not as good. Anyway, it doesn't really matter about that. It's clean. And the thing is, when you're stripping something down, it's, it's nice to work on. Right, let's get this in the shop. So this is what I was talking about. On here is the six-cylinder bell I was in. Over here is the four-cylinder. Pay attention to the bolt pattern. It's different. The starter knows where the starter goes in is higher and that one's lower so that's why we can't just swap off the cover because it just won't fit so we're going to take the guts out of that one and shove it into this one that's going to be a lot of fun isn't it so what I might just do instead of talking over things because it does take a long time and we've already stripped these down anyway first of all I'm going to take the bellows of the transfer case off that um, notice there's very little rust and things like that on here so that's going to be good we had a lot of problems with that one before and i'm not going to strip this transfer case down too much at the moment i'm going to concentrate on the gearbox all right so that's what we're going to get up to because you see this is a bit rusty and that's so, that's all seized up so got a lot of work ahead of ourselves so let's get that transfer case off 